So someone asked me about how I did the, the split in flexibility, a full split um, in Facebook. She saw a picture of me in my personal Facebook account, a picture from years ago. The picture is like seven years old. I posted it there like five years ago and I was making a perfect split almost, almost perfect. It looked perfect in the picture, but it was almost perfect. Um, she asked me how I did it and you know, in particular she wanted to know the specific exercises, the routine of exercises that I use to be able to accomplish it. I'm pretty sure that she's much more of a fitness freak than I am. <laughs> I, I did all that, but I'm not really a fitness freak or anything like that. I just was interested in, uh, in being in good shape for training, for Taekwondo, for martial arts, for kicking. And in order to be able to kick effectively and quickly, and to be sure that you will be injury free, you need to have good flexibility. So that was why I got so interested in that and why I improved in that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to answer that question with a video because it is the, the only way that I have to answer it really well. This is not something that you can answer by, you know, trying to describe the exercises with word, words, writing, and paper. You have to show it. So basically I'm going to show you the, the full routine that I still do but not much. I have lost a ton of it, so don't expect to see like, like a fitness uh, flexibility expert or any, anything like that in me. I'm just going to show you uh, what I used to do and what I still do like once a week and hopefully this will motivate me to do it more than once a week so that I can uh, you know, regain a, a big part of what I lost in that arena. So first I will begin with, uh, I will run, jog for like 10 minutes, but it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal the running because let's say I was uh, like I used to be in an apartment, you don't need and you don't have a running track, so you, you only have like, like a space of like 7 meters maybe, if you have a big space there some, somewhere, so use that space to jog continuously and measure about uh, 9 minutes, 10 minutes, and that will be like a warm-up. So after you do that, uh, get yourself one of these uh, tiles, large tiles, that they usually use, many parents use that for the kids, but you're going to use it, if you're going to do flexibility exercises, you're going to use it for yourself. And this is very important because it doesn't work, you know, like in the plane floor, it's too cold, it doesn't feel good, you're not going to be able to do it right, it just doesn't feel right, it's not going to work. So you need to have tiles, something comfortable like this, so you can do it as if you were in a training gym for this kind of thing, even though you are at your house. So then uh, you do your warm-up, 10 minute jogging, you know, anywhere at your house, or you could jump rope, as well, but I, I feel that jogging is the best way, the easiest way. Um, okay, so after that, even though you, even though I always focus on, on the legs because that was where I really wanted the flexibility, I I would do something sort of like a full uh, warm up. So I will begin it, you know, with the from here, then go down. So from the head. So basically. I'll do it from here, so left, right, you know, the old stuff, not one, two, like back then when I was a kid, they used to do it like one, two, one, two, one, two, no, I don't do it like that, I didn't do it like that before either, so I, only once, one, two, but repeat it several times, so one, two, and try, try to do it as much as you can, you know, without breaking anything, but as much as you can, nonetheless. So then, after that, front and back, then to the side. If there's something that you haven't done in a long time, it's gonna crack. 
like you did right now, you're gonna feel it. Or if there's an area where your flexibility is not good at, it's going to surface if you do something that is trying to make that, you know, stretch more. Then you can do the, the arounds like that. You're gonna do more like that. You could do sets, you have to do more and do it longer. I'm just doing this to show you the exercises, the flexibility exercises and the order in which I would do them. And if you do this routine at least once every two days and you keep that going for several months, you can get flexible too. If you already had flexibility from the beginning, you will be able to get to a split in like four months. Um, if you're young, maybe less. If not, you can still get there, but it's gonna take longer. So it's gonna take more months. So just keep that in mind, it's not magic. You have to do this, not every day, but at least every two days. So then, uh, okay, this was, this just beginning, like a full warm up. I haven't even begun with the legs yet. So that was here, head, this. So then what comes next? Shoulders. And shoulders, I will just do the basic stuff. This, and by the way, I'll do stand now. I didn't do it. See, I'm just doing it uh, on my knees there because I don't think the camera is getting this. And I don't want to do a video where it's cutting, cutting my head on top of the video. So, like this. So you hold it there for, I don't know, 25 seconds. Whatever you feel is the right amount for you. It is not going to be the same amount for everyone because not everyone is the same and not everyone has the same flexibility and not everyone wants to accomplish the same things with their workout so you need to know that for yourself so yeah, we'll hold it there for for a longer time I'm doing it very quickly now just to show just to show the exercises, that's it and I think that by, by showing this then like this this is this looks very simple and it is simple but it is good for the shoulders okay so you're going like this so now you're gonna go in the back like this and then when you manage to grab there keep the grab By the way, don't do this on your knees. I'm just doing this so, to make sure that the video uh, catches my whole body. I would do it standing up, like for the real deal, standing up. And then the other one, if the first one you were like this, then the other one is gonna go the other way, like that. And then you do it as many times as you need to do it there, what makes you feel comfortable. So then, What's the other way, right? So the first one, yeah, this is the other way. And this one, I wasn't, I don't have enough flexibility here to, to be able to grab both hands. So I just try to get there and that's it. There are many more things that you can do there. Many more things that you can do there. Like you, you can do like, go in circles, go in circles in front, go in circles above, Go in circles on the sides and then go in circle the other way. Make the circle either, you know, wider or more, you know, like smaller like that. And do it here and do it here and do it there. And there's, uh, there's a lot of things that you, that you can do. So, okay, here, basic. I have to do this time now because it doesn't work there. So, basic, basic stuff. And this does matter, you know, even for martial arts, which is what I wanted it for, and for kicking and all that, because if, you know, if you, you need to be able to rotate, maybe you need to be, you know, you need to be able to move your, your hips. The hips are really important. Most people don't realize it, 
unless you have been involved in some training for that at some point in your life or in some kind of sport that, that required it but the hips they're much more important than you think even for punching even for punching if, if you manage to bring the strength here you know on the whole body and not just from this part or from here and it comes from the whole body even in the hip you know even the hip in the hip move there first it is way better you know way stronger more powerful so um, okay so after that you can do the, the standing up version of this one but I always prefer the one that is on, on the tile so I'm gonna show you the standing up which is you know basic so you can open up here to make it easier you can close to make it you know harder here so you can go left you know and you and you hold it there I'm doing it very quickly because otherwise I'm gonna take like two hours in the video because it in reality if you're doing it seriously you have to hold you know like for 25 seconds there and then you come to the center and you hold again you go to the other side you hold again you come back here you hold again rest a little rest a little and then you come back and you do another set and you do like three sets okay so now we're ready so begin with, with the actual stuff the real stuff so this is the one that I care about least so I will do it first but it doesn't matter you know all of them matter so they so like butterfly stuff but then not do it without moving do it like okay so bring them down this one is very hard to do by yourself like it's much easier with another person but I I think I have I still do have a lot of flexibility for this one okay so after you do that go to the front and go down and you should, should feel something right here right here in, in the back and then while you hold it there 25 seconds whatever the time is for you whatever time you like and then rest a little bit just a few seconds you know move, move around do something and then do it again go back here do this again go down again with both knees and go to the front again so you do that three times then i will do this to get ready for for the real deal this there are some people that are like this i think it's better if you have the whole the whole foot there on the floor and then you go to the other one remember that i have lost a lot of the flexibility i had so you're not gonna be seeing full splits right now or anything like that i don't have the flexibility for that uh, anymore i could regain it but it will take me like three months of training at the very least like between half an hour and one hour every single day and if i manage to have that time and i do it without fail in four months i will be able to do the full split again but you know how things are it if you have a busy life there's no way you're gonna find one hour every day to, to do this this stuff but if you care about staying flexible you're gonna find at least two days a week to do it which is what I try to do okay so then after this now is when I begin the real deal so the real deal this is the version of the standing up one but I, I prefer it I like this one better it's here in my mind so now Gonna grab this you're gonna grab that in the other one and then you're gonna you know push 
back, but at the same time, you're gonna push yourself to the front by, by pulling this back. If you're doing it right, you're gonna feel it here and here in the back as well. Okay, so hold it, try to go down a little bit more, go to the front. You can also do it like this, if you prefer that better. Go through the center maybe. But I, I like it better keeping them like this and grabbing here. Because I feel that, you know, that forces you to stretch this more. Okay, so then what I will do right after that, go like this. And guess, guess what this is for? This, this part right here, the shoulders. They love to do this in yoga because this is good for relaxation of the shoulders and stretching and all that. They love to do this in yoga, but I don't do it for yoga and I don't do it for, for prayer or I don't do it for, I do it because it, it helps me in the exercise routine. And I also found it good for, for my shoulders. So, and then after that, if you have perfect legs, you don't need to do this, but I didn't. So, and for, for kicking, if you're gonna do a front kick, it's like this, right? You need to hit with this. If you're doing a roundhouse, it's like that, you need to hit with this. But for like this, my leg is not perfectly straight. Some people do have it like that, you know, perfectly straight, like the, hand, like the arm. Here is not perfectly straight, but, you know, if you have patience, I never have patience for this, but I, I will do it. You can do this here, and it will, you know, help you to make it get more straight with time, if you have patience. You can also do this for the front kick to help you get get more in, in that like like that shape. If you don't have it in your you know in your foot's bone structure or, or in the way your, your foot is, you can make that change with time through the flexibility side. So then you're gonna do that three times. I only did it once. You're gonna do it three times, all that. So three times, this, hold there and pull, pull, pull to the front and pull back here for, for this part. Then, like this. And then the other part, forget about it because I'm sure that no one that watches this is gonna do it for, for kicking. Or maybe half the people will, you never know. But, okay, so then, this is the next one. So next, uh, okay, do you hear that crack? It's because I'm not, I'm not doing this as much as I used to. Okay, so now, you have two choices here. One is like this, and the other one is like that in front. So I'm gonna go with the front one. You can go like this, if you like that better. That's gonna help you also for here. I don't care so much about that side. I, I want more for the leg. I want the leg to be more flexible. So I, I like to do this one more. It's the same area I'm gonna do. For what you want this for is, I think, both work. So you, yeah, you know, you hold it there, and then you go and guess what you do? Same with the other leg. This is the one where I have least, less flexibility for, so this is my difficult leg. So obviously for this one, I would recommend spending more time in this one because this is the difficult one. The other one is the easy one. So you spend more time in, the, in this one 
and don't force it too much. Notice I'm never taking myself to a point where I will strain myself or risk breaking something. I'm never taking myself to that point, but I'm always trying to, to feel that I'm stretching. So you're not gonna win anything by straining yourself or doing too much. What you have to do is just do this once every two days for a very long period of time and then it is going to give you the results that you want. But you know, you need to, you need to do the hard work of doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and eventually it works. This one I do feel it more than the other because this, this leg, no, I, I have lost a lot with this leg, for real. Okay, so you go back then, three times, so then you will go back and do it again with the other. And then you go back and do it with this one. When you're doing this, you may also, you know, when you finish doing this part, instead of switching legs right away, you may also do this and go the other way. Probably feel a little bit more here. Okay. And then comes the difficult stuff. Um, the difficult stuff is the best stuff. Because if you, <laughs> when you conquer the difficult stuff, well, you already know everything you need. You don't need anything else. And this. Uh, I've lost so much here that I don't think I can go much more than this, so I'm not gonna even bother. I could go almost all the way, I cannot do it right now because it's been too long since that training. And by the way, uh, training of sports, you learn how to play sport, you never forget that. You continue knowing how to play, even if you get fat, even if you lose your shape. But physical training, even if you were wonderful at it before and perfect at it before, if you stop doing it and the years go by and you lose it, it doesn't matter if you had it before, you lost it. It's not like, like uh, learning how to ride a bike or learning how to drive a car. That kind of thing, you don't lose it. It stays with you for life. But. Uh, you know, this kind of stuff. Okay, so now you're here. So you have two ways to do this. You either go here first and then to the center, which I can barely do now. Back then I could go like all, all the way to the floor there. And then you go here, or you can skip the sides. You, are, you already worked on the sides a lot before with your exercises, so you can go directly to the center. Just hold it there. I could go all the way to the floor before, but right now forget about it. I, I simply don't have it right now to be able to go down and I will risk straining you know, my, my leg or something like that, which is not something that I'm gonna do. <laughs> like you, you, I don't recommend pushing yourself so much that you risk a little injury because a little injury is gonna take away from you so much. You're gonna have like to be like, half a month or more without doing anything and you're gonna lose more. In the long run, you're gonna lose more. So those people that tell you, no, push yourself until it hurts, they're idiots. Don't push yourself until it hurts because you're doing it wrong then. Push yourself until you feel and know that you shouldn't go beyond that point to avoid injury. But you need to know that, you need to feel that. It is your body, so you're the one that has to know. So you're gonna do this three times. This is hard. When you conquer this one and you're like all the way on the floor over there and your legs are more open than this, well, you already got what you want, right? This one is, and it is a must do. This one is a must do. 
but let's say that like nowadays I don't do anything else I just do this I show you and I'm done but back then I was more serious about wanting to to have more flexibility and all that so I will do more so right now I will let me see what else I will do like back then I, I used to do more like um, yeah I remember right now so more that I will do I'll do this so the idea is scissors So you hold it there and you try to, you know, take it down and you hold it there and then you do it with the other leg. This is my difficult leg, so let's see. Oh yes, no, this is much, much harder than the other. This one, I, I'm left behind this one. Even, even putting it completely straight is a little difficult because I have lost a lot of flexibility with this leg. I don't know why this one will lose more than the other one. I don't know why. I guess we, we should ask a doctor, a physician about that one. They will probably be able to tell us. If they are a good physician, they should be able to tell us. Okay, so you do that three times with each leg. And then to finish the day, you either go to a wall and in the wall you put one you know okay you put one, one leg there touching the wall and you put the other leg there touching the wall and then you're gonna push yourself down and backwards why to to see if you can reach a split right so down and at the same time backwards but the wall is going to be there on your feet so it will hold you and obviously, if you reach the wall, congratulations, you're doing a perfect split. So then you can push down and back. No, I cannot do it now. Forget about it. So, oh, I could do it before, but this just shows you. This is a proof that you lose it if you don't do it. So, do it three times, like all the others. I think there was one more I used to do. Okay, there's one more that helps. You can, you can either, okay, you can either do, do this on the, on the floor, put, put this one like this, then grab here, go like that, and try to, and then do the other one. Oh, you see, you have to hold it there. I'm just showing you the exercise for you you know, you actually have to keep it there and hold it. This is my good leg, you can tell. Okay, so you can do that there on the floor, or you can do it standing up. Let's do it with my good leg. Or you can also do it, and this this was one, the one I prefer I think back then. If you find a, a window, one of those windows that has like like a little wall, or you can put your foot right there. You you put your foot, you know, right there on that wall, and then you use that that wall to help you do something like this. You know that the wall will be there holding your foot, and then you use that go like that with your foot there so it helps what else then you know there were more for sure but if you do everything that I show you here if you haven't done flexibility before flexibility exercises do it once every three days 
don't do it every day because you're going to strain yourself. So if you haven't done flexibility exercises, do it once, then the next two days don't do it, do it the third one. And after you have been like that for like two or three weeks, do it uh, once every two days. So you do it today, you don't do it tomorrow, you do it next day, day after you don't do it, and then you do it the next day. And you can keep it like that. There are some people that do it every day. Uh, they don't strain themselves and it doesn't affect them or anything, but they are already pretty flexible. They are already pretty flexible, not everyone is like that. When I was younger, and maybe still now, I am pretty flexible, but not the most flexible or anything like that. So what I do for me is uh, to not lose it completely, do this and do it right. You know, take at least half an hour doing all that, uh, twice a week. If you, however, don't want to just maintain it and you want to get better and see gains like every month, see that you're more flexible and all that. If you have a goal, if you want to get to split, if you want to feel, you know, wonderful, flexible for, for training, for kicking, you need to do it at least once every two days. Yes. And obviously you also need to practice the kicking because you can be very flexible and still not know how to kick. So you need to practice both the flexibility to save yourself from injuries and to make sure that you can kick high and you can kick well and the actual technique for the kicking so that you know how to kick. Um, and that's it. So yeah, I gave you my routine because of doing this routine a lot doing uh, two or three years and I mean you can also say that maybe I was also pretty flexible but I don't think that was a, the reason that helped me to get to split what I know it I know it because I got there already I already did it so I know how to do it what really got me to it was doing this routine seriously doing it correctly and because of that, I shift that. And thankfully, I took a picture because as you can see, I cannot do a split right now anymore. If I really wanted to do it again, I will have to do this religiously, like during at least four months or five months, and I will get there. But the problem is that right now, I, I prefer using uh, that time, not just on flexibility, but maybe on running or exercising or so, you know, there's not enough time to, to dedicate one hour every day or every two days to only, you know, this flexibility exercises. But like everything in life, like everything in life, if you're serious about it and you really want that, well, you're going to have to find that hour. And if you find that hour and you do it religiously, you will get it. So there was a time in my life when I was a little younger, like like 20, when I was like that for this and that was when I was able to make a split. Right now, I'm happy if I am in shape, if I can kick well, that's good enough for me right now. I don't need to, to make a split to be happy right now or anything like that. So I'm showing you this not just because of this uh, friend that asked me to show her the exact routine that I did and that I do sometimes, still. Uh, the routine that led me to be able to make split, to be pretty flexible. I'm not doing this just to show her, that, that was the, the initial motivation. I'm also doing this to, to show everyone so that if they want to be more flexible, they know what to do. I am not an expert, but I think that this is more important than most people realize because I, you know, I heard about this from someone that knows much more than me about health and being healthy and all that. And basically what they recommend is not just being strong, which is what most men shoot for 
you know, weight training, exercising, body weight exercises, which are wonderful, like push-ups and, and pull-ups and all that. Um, you know, to be completely healthy, to be a very, very healthy person and have a very healthy body is not enough if you only do strength-related stuff or if you only do cardio stuff. Cardio stuff is wonderful, by the way. If you want to be healthy, just go on running, you know, once every two days, something like that. However, if you want to be very, very, you know, physically healthy, it is not enough with having good stamina or cardio and having strength and not having any disease, obviously. Uh, you also need flexibility. Flexibility, believe it or not, and most people underestimate it or undermine it, don't give it much importance. But uh, it is just as important as almost as the others because if you have really bad flexibility, you will be more prone to injury. Especially if you're doing stuff like, like sports, like uh, you know physical sports like fighting, boxing, well not boxing, but more like, like taekwondo and leg stuff, like kickboxing, that kind of thing, which is what I liked. Um, so flexibility does matter for health. This is why you, you see those uh, expert yoga teachers and they look so healthy and they are so healthy. And part of that is not just strength or, or having good cardio, it's, it's all the flexibility that they have. It's very good for the body. Yeah, basically what you need. What you need other than sleeping well and eating well, you need that. Is some strength conditioning. Uh, at least some cardio, ideally a lot, but not a lot, but you know, cardio is important. Cardio is really important because it's the heart and you know, the, the blood, which you have everywhere. So obviously if you have that, you know, under healthy conditions because of what you are doing, because of running or jogging or walking or swimming or biking, any of those, any of those is great. Um, and then you have flexibility. Now, how do you get more flexible? Yeah, there's no magic. You have to do exercises like this. So what I did right now is showing you what I do. And if you use what I do, you can also use it to your benefit. You can use it to your benefit. I, like I told this friend of mine, like I told her, I once heard and this is very true this is something that most people don't know but it is we should because it is the truth and it tells you a lot if you have an old person and the old person can stand up from the floor by themselves that proves that they still can live several more years but if they cannot stand up from the floor by themselves that also proves that they are not going to live several more years. I don't know if I saw that in a research study, I don't know where I saw it, but it was a credible source. It was a very credible source. And uh, guess what tells you more about whether you will be able to stand up by yourself or not? Is it just strength? No, it is not just strength. It is also flexibility. So flexibility is more important than, than what most people think. And most people ignore it, which is the reason why most people in a fight, right away they go to punching, boxing, pretty much. They rarely kick because more than likely they don't have the flexibility of the training for kicking. And, and it really makes such a difference. It makes a, a big difference because uh, not just for fighting, but, but when you have healthy legs, it just feels good, to be honest with you. It feels good to, to, to feel, you know, really mobile, like, like, you know, you feel the mobility in you. So, so yeah. That's it. I hope that you learned something.
with my flexibility routine video.